Okay, so this is the second half of example 11.2, part B. Um, we already calculated or found the balanced redox reaction, pretty straightforward, it's an acidic solution. So part B says, write the balanced and total ionic and the formula equations. So these are the original equations that must have existed if this is the net ionic. For the reaction, given that the reactants were, these are very important, KMNO4, FeSO4, and H2SO4. So I'm just gonna kind of write that down here. So KMNO4, FeSO4, and H2SO4. Now, before we begin, let's think about what our spectator ions would have been, right? If you look at the original substances, okay, K, if this is a reactant, um, K had to have been a spectator, okay? Same thing, if iron was bonded to that, SO4 had to be a spectator. And if you even think about the left side, H+, plus, right? This is where that sulfuric acid came from, in sulfuric acid. The SO4 is still gonna be a spectator ion. So this is a huge, huge um, thing to kind of be able to pick up on your own. Now, the other second, the, the second thing I guess I want you to pick up on are these formulas specifically. These formulas, these formulas tell us that there are, or there is a one to one ratio of iron two plus to SO4 two minus and a two to one ratio of H plus to SO4 two minus, okay? This is gonna help us determine what our um, outcomes are. So because we know our products, okay? I'm gonna kind of write out a phrase. Because on the product side, Fe3 plus and SO4 two minus would form, if we were to put this together, Fe2 SO4 three, we need to get an even amount of Fe3 plus ions from the net ionic. So what we're gonna do to get five Fe3 even, we're gonna multiply this and everything else by a factor of two, okay? Now, I'm gonna stop the video there, okay, so that you can um, kind of catch up, pause whatever you need. I'm gonna come back and do a third part of the remainder. This is just getting and setting up this portion of the exam, or the um, problem.